guys welcome back to all illuminate 11 so today we are going to do an energy check as we start this new week see what's happening with divine masculine and divine feminine today we're bringing in the oceanic tarot we're also bringing in some bird messages as well today and angel answers so if you've got a question that you may be wanting to ask in relation to your journey or even other areas of your life you will you can ask that question and you'll be able to get an answer as well through that deck and then we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Comes Home Oracle to see what your Divine Masculine wants to say at this time. So thank you, angels. What is going on with the energy Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine as we start this new week? Starting with the Divine Masculine, we've got this card and this one here. And then Divine Feminine, we've got this one and that one. Okay, so that's that. And then, thank you, angels. What bird messages are coming through for, for the Divine Masculine today? So Divine Masculine, we've got that bird message and that one. And Divine Feminine, this one and this one. Okay? And bird message for the journey as well. Thank you, angels. And bird message for the journey. Right. And then, what, what messages are coming through from the angels for... It can be for the journey, but it can be for something else that you just want to ask quietly, ask your angels what messages are coming through for everyone. So that one's coming out as well. This one, I'm really being asked to get a few messages for this in case you've asked a question about something. Okay, and that one. So we're going to see what's coming through there. Okay, and then... Let's see. Thank you, angels. What messages are coming through as well for if from the Divine Masculine? What are they wanting to say? Divine Masculine comes home. What are they wanting to say? And one more. Okay, so let's start with messages that are coming through for the journey. So for the journey, the bird that we have is the wood duck. And really, really look at this. It's beautiful. You know, it's like that energy of... Uh, the two of you, you and your divine masculine. So this is for the journey. And it says, enrich your life by keeping your every option open. So this is a powerful card to come through. And what I'm really getting with this card is that this can be the energy of you and your divine masculine, you know, but this can also be for some, you know, it's about enriching your life by keeping your every option open. That can be about somebody else coming into your life, somebody else who can be you know interested in you is open to communication wants to be with you you know that's about keeping every option open not really closing yourself from the blessings that the universe gives to you because maybe that person is meant to come into your life for a reason you know and you are being brought in that person you know that may be interested in you that may be bringing in communication that may be available that may be showing you that they are wanting to be around you and are there for you you know that's the message coming through so i feel this can be a message for someone else if you're if you've come across someone who's sort of open to being with you and you know you are being asked to being given this message in enrich your life by keeping your every option open so don't close yourself to the blessings that the universe give, brings into your life you know it's about being open and ready to receive and knowing that you know whoever comes into your life is being brought in for a reason and you know and it's about obviously seeing how you're feeling in relation to that person and that situation you trust your own intuition in this, but it's about you not closing yourself off to blessings. But also, this is also about, you know, things moving forward and the chance for the you and your divine masculine to come together. I feel here you're being shown, you know, they're kind of facing that way. You're facing that way, you know, kind of doing your own things. But, you know, the chance for the two of you to come together will come, you know, so it's about trusting in the journey and, you know, and and trusting that God has got this and will bring this in for you at the right time. And that will happen if you believe. So that's what you're being shown here, that the two of you, you know, they will turn around and you'll be facing the same direction. You know, it, that time will come if you believe. So you have to get into that place of really believing in that, that this is meant for you, that it will come in the right divine timing. 
And then the next card that we have is in the near future. So maybe you've asked a question about something. You're being shown here in the near future. This is coming in for you. You know, whatever it is that you may be asking about, it can be certain things that you are, you know, wanting to bring into your life and you're being shown that it is coming in the near future. So it's about you knowing that it is going to happen for you. And then we also have here within the next few weeks. So you're being shown in the near future, within the next few weeks, something is coming in for you. It can be your divine masculine turning around for you to face the same direction. It can be somebody else. If that's what you are getting for your own journey, someone else coming in in the near future, within the next few weeks, you know, you may be in a place in yourself where you feel that you are open to, you know, having a relationship with a soulmate if that person is brought in for you and you're being shown here to, to keep your every option open in the near future within the next few weeks and there is going to be success. So you're being shown there is going to be success of that love, of those things that you are asking about. You know, I did ask for people to ask a question at the beginning, within the next few weeks, in the near future, you will have success. So, you know, that's what you are being shown here. It may be unlikely to happen right now is what I'm getting. It may be unlikely to happen right now or to happen in the way that you think it will happen. That is unlikely because it's not going to be the way that you think that is going to happen, whether it's with your divine masculine, whether it's with another person, whether it's about another area of your life, it's unlikely to go the way that you want it to go in the time that you want it to go, but you will have success. So this is about trusting in God, trusting that it's going to be brought in the way that it is meant to, you know, even in a way that will surprise you, but you will have success. So let go of trying for it to, or thinking about it and being a certain way or coming in a certain way, just release that because it's unlikely to happen that way. However, you will have success. And, you know, when it comes to this journey with your divine masculine, success will come in if you believe. But really powerful cards coming through. And the last one is yes. So if you've asked about anything, you know, that may be going on in your life and you're thinking about, the answer for you is yes. You will have success. It's unlikely to be how you want it to be, but it's going to happen in the near future within the next few weeks. So enrich your life by keeping your every option open. This can even be in another area of your life. You know, this can be something else that you are you know, desiring for yourself to move forward when it comes to your own life and you're being asked to keep your option, your every option open, you know, when it comes to these things and, you know, it's unlikely to be the way you want it to be, but you are going to have success. So that's the message that's coming through and I feel it covers a lot of areas for different people and, you know, it can be with your journey with your divine masculine, you know, it will come in in the near future within the next few weeks and yes, you will have success if you believe, but it's unlikely to happen how you would expect it to go. Okay, let's see messages for you, the Divine Feminine. So first card that we've got, we've got here the Eight of Cups. And with this card, what I really feel is that, you know, you're changing certain things in your life. You're walking away from certain things. This can be what you're asking about. Maybe you are walking away from a karmic relationship yourself or a relationship or you are changing your job, you know, you are sort of starting something new, releasing something, you know, there is a walking away energy that's coming through here so that you can then be able to move forward to this success that's coming in for you. So that's what you're being shown here. So you may be, you know, leaving a job and you are going to get something new. And the answer for that is yes. So if you're asking about career wise, that's what you're being shown as well here. And then the other card that we have is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands really is about that passion, that dedication, and, you know, being in your power as a divine feminine. And I feel though as well, this is about you being that irresistible divine feminine to your divine masculine. You know, they feel that passion is all towards you. But it's, this is also about you, the things that you're working on. You know, it can be things that you're changing, being in that energy of that passion and focusing on those things that you are doing 
You know, I am definitely feeling passion in the way the things that I'm doing when it comes to sorting things out in my flat and being focused on that. And, you know, and that's about change as well, about changing certain things. It's like walking away from the way things have been to bring in the new. So you're being shown here that to stay dedicated, to stay doing what you are doing. And, you know, do those things with that passion. But but also, you know, um, this is also about them having that passion towards you as well. And then the cards that have come out for you, the Divine Feminine, from the birds, we've got the black bird. And the message is open to psychic awareness to recognize portents of the future. So this is about your psychic abilities as well. And I feel that these are becoming stronger, especially as we've had this um 8-8 eight, eight portal, the Lion's Gate portal as well, is being there to help you to open up more to your gifts, to your psychic abilities, you know, so that you can, you've, you've sort of gone through, you know, that sort of portal that has helped you to grow when it comes to, you know, yourself within. And that's opening you up even more to your psychic abilities and psychic awareness. So powerful card as well to come through. And then the last card that has come out for you is the Painted Stalk. Parenthood and caring for family brings much joy. So beautiful card has also come through. And, you know, like here in the UK, for example, we are in the summer holidays. Maybe you are a mother or, you know, or a parent or mother or father. And, you know, you are spending time with your children at this time and it's bringing you much joy. Or you may be on holiday with your family. You know, it can be you just having fun. That's the energy that I'm really getting here. Enjoying being around your children, you know, enjoying being around family. You may not have children, but it can just be you enjoying, you know, just the things that are about just taking time off and enjoying yourself, the things that bring you joy. So that's what's coming through for Divine Feminine. And then the cards that have come out for the Divine Masculine. So first of all, we've got here, um, this is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, okay, first we've got the lovers. So that's what's coming through here, the lovers. So this is about that love, you know, between the two of you. You know, they feel that love towards you, their divine feminine, the one that they want to be with. You know, they're thinking about you. That's why I was getting as well that they see you as their, you know, beautiful divine feminine, their queen of wands, the one that they find irresistible and, you know, who's got this pull towards them as well so they are feeling that love they are thinking about you wanting to be with you and then we've got the knight of swords and the knight of swords really is about coming forward you know powerfully i know it says drama there but you know i, I don't i never really i take the cards for what they mean to me and you know the, what i can see here is about holding that sword you know and coming forward and that's about them coming forward to surprise you. And what I feel with this is what you're being shown. Something is coming with your divine masculine within the next few weeks, in the near future. Success happening, you know, if you believe. So, yes, they are coming. They are sort of holding that sword because they have this love for you and wanting to be with you. You know, and I feel you're walking away from certain things as well in your life so that you open up the space for them to be able to come in. Sometimes you may just be needing to change your career or to change your job. That can be the first thing that you need to do on your own journey for you to open up to that energy of your divine masculine coming. It can be about you, you know, starting to work on your mission, those kind of things. So as you're doing that, leaving certain things behind, that's really sort of, you know, resulting in them coming forward, holding that sword of truth, coming to tell you how they truly feel, which is that you are the lovers and they're wanting to be with you. And then the cards that we've got for the divine masculine, the birds, we've got the starling, find strength in social community and achieve your goals. So this is also about them finding strength to do what they need to do. I feel that this is strength in social community that can be strength to walk away from the situation that they're in in their own life. People around them, family, comic situation, finding the strength to stand up for themselves so that they can achieve their own goals when it comes to their desires, when it comes to this love with you as well. And then we've got the ancient wing. And it says, dare to be the first, dare to be different. So it's really powerful. They are finding the strength. And I feel that this Leo energy, this 
Um, Lionsgate Portal Energy has been there to give them more of that strength to achieve their goals, you know, to move forward towards that love, to dare to be different, you know, from the way that they've always been or the way that they expected to be by family, by friends, you know, they are forging forward. That's what I'm really getting here. You know, they are not holding back. They are coming and that's going to lead them to speak their truth. You know, with that sword of truth about this love with you coming forward, finding the strength to do so. So it's powerful energy coming through for the divine masculine. And the cards that we've got for them is ascension first. So they're saying to you, I am going through this ascension, you know, where they are connecting more to who they truly are, opening up more to their true self going through transformation and change and that's going to help to give them that strength and to dare to be different to walk away from what is holding you what is holding them back they are also saying to you heal your doubts so any doubts that you may have in relation to this journey in re relation to them moving forward coming to you heal your doubts so that's the message that's coming through. It's about releasing the doubt and trusting that they will find their way to you at the right time as well, their divine feminine. And then the next card that we've got for divine masculine. So we've got here, remember what we are. So they're saying to you, divine feminine, remember what we are. We have this powerful connection. We are that one soul. We are meant to be. You know, and we will come together at the right time. Remember what we are, the power that is there when it comes to this connection between us. It may not seem like it in the 3D and, you know, and it will obviously happen in the right divine timing, but we are being guided. Remember what we are. I will come to you. So they're saying to you, I will come to you. You know, they are going to dare to be different, you know, dare to be the first to change things in within their family line, for example, you know, and walk away from a situation that's no longer serving them so that they can be with you, the one that they truly love. So they are saying to you, we are the lovers. I am going to hold that sword of truth. I am going to come to you. I will come to you. That's what they are wanting you to know. And they're gaining the strength and the courage to do this right now, you know, to come forward to tell you how they truly feel. And you're being shown here by the angels that, you know, things are moving forward. You will have success. You know, it's unlikely to be how you think it will be. So release that surrender, give it to God, live your life, you know, and, you know, but know that, yes, it will happen. You know, it's meant to be, it will happen. And, you know, and just let it open up to flow and happen the way that it is meant to. So I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you so much love.